ambitious, except you know that I don't control the schools. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. It's more of ad, but you know, sure. if you can push it, then you can I, I, I will do what I can to help. Sure. Yeah. And thank, you, thank you. You have to have six days for the government to do it. You know, we contribute a lot to the system too mm -hmm. by doing a lot of events, especially the Harsad Bay is there. You know, the Raju Bay has been doing for the last 25 years. Uh, unfortunately, Raju Bay is not here, but we are very uh, thankful to uh, uh, our uh, uh, only one Indian community here. Uh, and thank you very much. Uh, Lina Pelli also came all the way, is doing the first ever religious event called Ganpati Mahotsav in uh, Ashok Bhai's uh, hotel. And we need to take a place from the mayor. Mayor must attend along with our uh, uh, council team. Please, yeah. Mayor is already half Indian now. Yeah. Thanks to. Thank you very much, and thanks to uh, uh, Senator Bingo Paul who traveled all the way and uh, came uh, here. And thanks, uh, continue to give us a support like this. Uh, anybody has any concern? Uh, Senator is also traveling uh, to India with film up in next month. Nice, nice. Uh, any questions? See what can you do uh, for both the strongest and the biggest uh, democracy of the world. Uh, thank you very much. This is like our post-independence day uh, celebration. <laughs> I, I like to say one thing, you know, the real independence come when this is how it is, you know. You live in the country where you support them. You only live in the country if you want to support it. Like, yes. we are in this country, sure. we do not look for food stamps, we do not look for unnecessary benefits, we do not look for this and that. We need to come, support the community, pay the tax, and do the best for the current democracy. That's our independence, that's what I believe. Only getting independence from uh, the British is not enough. You know, we need to go support wherever we live. Thank you, very much. Thank you, Dr. Patel. <laughs> you know, I, I've, I've known Dr. Patel for quite some time. When I was chair of the Democratic Party here in Parsippany, he was always there and always supportive of the party. And uh, it's, uh, it, it's nice to know who your, who your friends are, where they have your back all the time, even when the, when the when things aren't going so well. But uh, Dr. Patel has always been true blue and supportive. And I want to thank you so much thank for everything you. you've done for not, not not just me and the Indian community, but the Democratic Party as well. Thank you so much. Um, we have some big Republicans. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, no. I didn't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay? We're a big tent party, okay? And we welcome all kinds of people. And I, I will say this. We have... We have received a lot of support. Our Democratic Party here in Parsippany has received a lot of support from Republicans that have said, you know what, I like their financial plan. You know what, I like the way they're going to do governance here in Parsippany. And for that, I thank you, and I thank you so much for being here and supportive as well. Um, so, again, Parsippany is one of my favorite places to be. That's why I said, hey, yes, I'll be mayor. But uh, one thing is... Uh, when you're in your favorite place is welcoming one of your favorite people here to Parsippany and I am honored and it is a pleasure to have Senator Vin Gopal here today and uh, I'm just um, I'm gonna yield the floor to him because he's come out here because he's very supportive of what we're doing here in Parsippany and very supportive of the three fantastic candidates that he's going to introduce to you today uh, but I, I'd be remiss if I didn't at least introduce uh, Chip Robinson chair of the, of the Morris County Democratic Committee Thank you. Thank you. And running for freeholder here in Morris County, Cara Parmigiani. Okay. With that said, I would like to pass this over to our great senator from uh, from the uh, of the from the 11th uh, district, Senator Vin Gopal. Thank you, Mayor. I think the Mayor is 100 percent Indian, right? <laughs> 75 is close. 75 is good. Yeah, yeah you're good. Um, it's great to be with all of you. Thank you for coming out to support these three extraordinary candidates. Um, I have the honor of chairing the Senate Indian American Caucus. It's just me. I win every argument and uh, I get my way. Uh, I tease uh, because we have a rapid growth in this state. Like so many like my parents and others who have come in the last several decades, uh, we have this place we call New Jersey that's our home. Uh, and our South Asian community, our Indian American community, is one of the fastest growing populations of any immigrant community anywhere in the country, right here in New Jersey. It's not just happening in places you think, like Edison and Woodbridge and, and, and towns that are traditional, places like Parsippany now, where this community has 
uh, a responsibility for the for the generations it's going to raise here in the years ahead to make sure we're engaged and that we're involved in the political process. When we see so many other communities out there, we see how close they are together, the Puerto Rican community, the Portuguese community. That's what we need to do when it comes to politics. I can't tell you how often I knock on uh, an Indian American's door and they'll start telling me about what's happening to Modi in India. And I say, you have stuff happening right in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> not worry about what's happening in your motherland. That's obviously very important. But we should have concern of who our police chief is, who our superintendent of schools is, who our community leaders who are going to be educating our children and keeping our streets safe. Only through local politics can that be done. And I give a lot of credit to the mayor here because at the local level there is no Democratic or Republican way to fill a pot. There's a right way and a wrong way. And if you have a local team that's responsive, uh, and I was listening to, to Harry's story. Was that his name, Harry? Yes. Who's, who's home, I hope he's okay with me saying his home burned down, uh, and the mayor was there along with the police chief and everyone each and every step of the way. I can guarantee you that's not good government at the local level has nothing to do with Democrats or Republicans, but you can build your party that way. So thank you for everything you're doing. I think it's important that you all send a big message across the state that the South Asian community, that the Indian American community votes, that they're organized. Uh, I've had conversations with past candidates, past higher ups. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna mention their names. They're Democrats, and I would say, hey, we gotta, you gotta hit this Gerba event. You gotta go talk to the Indian American community, and they'll, without even missing, oh, I love the Indian American. We're gonna use fundraisers, but they don't vote, so we're not gonna go to their events. Oh. That was perception for years, and guess what? The perception wasn't wrong. Statistics show low percentages of South Asian Indian Americans, even multiple generations, were not voting. Uh, and there's no excuse not to vote now. With voting law is so easy, vote by mail, other uh, early voting, there's a lot of opportunities for us to do that. It is public information when somebody votes. We don't know who they vote for, but we know if they voted. So I can look up an election afterwards, and I can look up and see every person. I don't know who they voted for, but I know if they voted. So it's important if our community wants to continue to get respect, if we want to see South Asian judges, police chiefs, college presidents, people that are going to have extraordinary influence over the lives of our children and grandchildren over the years, we have to be politically engaged. Obviously, I'm speaking to all of you, and you're all here. But I know you know a lot of people. And you know a lot of people that live in Parsippany that may not be aware that there's a mayor and three council candidates that are doing an extraordinary job in getting the community together, getting people engaged, putting people on boards, environmental commissions, getting them involved in a way that they never had before. And that's kind of what's important. So uh, I want to thank the doctor and his wife for having me here today. Uh, I was earlier today at um, Morris County Chamber of Commerce. They had a luncheon where I spoke at. and. Uh, it was nice to, I think there's one Democrat in the room, so uh, <laughs> uh, there's a few more here, but that's okay. It's, a, it's a, As the mayor said, it's a big tent party. Uh, and at the local level, there's only a right way and a wrong way to do government. So it depends uh, what that belief is. I'll always say when someone's yelling at me and want, they want to start talking about Trump and Clinton and this, and I say, I want to talk to you about what's going on on Route 34. We have a congestion problem. And I, I try to get them back to a very basic level. Because that is where everybody in this room is going to be affected. You will be affected what happens in your school district. You will be affected what happens in your police department. That's not uh, where you're going to be affected. Uh, I want to thank Chairman Robinson. He's been an extraordinary friend. And I want to let you know I'm going to commit. The mayor asked me to commit. So I'm going to do a check for $5,000 to the Morris County Democrats to help me. Thank you. Help all of your local candidates, and when they're all asking me, I can't yeah, 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 yeah. money to. So, uh, no, I, I don't want to just come and just give a speech. And I, I want you to know it's really important that communities like this are built. And the chairman said part of those funds uh, is, is towards vote, vote by mail, and get out the vote efforts to make sure people are voting and that they know uh, they need to vote. Um, I don't know the council candidates. Uh, that well, but I've been reading up a lot about them. Uh, Rob, 
uh, Judith and Corey are three individuals when you look at their backgrounds. The mayor and his team did an extraordinary job in selecting them because they are engaged in so many different areas of town. Also to have a, a, an attorney, an engineer, and a union electrician, that's a pretty good group there. I'm sure you had something to do with the union electrician. Just a little bit. <laughs> um, but these are, these are folks, when you look at their volunteer activities in town, what they've done with Habitat, uh, the service on the planning board, these aren't just someone, people that are just coming tomorrow. Hopefully there are people in this room that are going to go up to the mayor and say, how do I get involved in town? How do I do some of those things so we can see one of you on the ballot in the upcoming years? Uh, you ask a question about Board of Education. I don't know anything about the local politics, but there's nowhere better than where Board of Education candidates are, because then you really impact what's happening. So whatever you can do, I hope that we can look back on Election Day and there's going to be a story written that says the Indian American community and the South Asian community as a whole came out, and they came out in big numbers, and that is what made the difference in the local ticket. So thank you for having me. Thank you for everything you're going to do for the remainder of this election. I know how important it is to each and every one of you in this community. Thank you and God bless you.